recording has begun again. Hello. I'm going to assume that's Max Devlin. Nice to see you. If you look in the bottom right, you can see what sector is being loaded from the disk, and the green light means the disk drive, the virtual disk drive, is active. This is loading from sector 13. I believe there's 40 sectors on a standard Commodore 64 disk. So, okay, here's the trainers. I'm not going to be using the trainers but all of those would be lovely. Idle without pass is actually doesn't doesn't really affect the game very much, but it's not something that we're going to be using. So this is the Ultima 4 Remastered Edition version 2.4.1 from the Genesis Project by Major Valp and Sean Dugler. And uh, great big thanks to them. So we're going to try this thing out. On what purports to be a speedrun but a very relaxed one, very chill. And there's that music that makes me happy again. the cat all of a sudden just wants to be involved in everything. I'm busy. I'm busy, Quiz. Alright. That's enough. Getting hair all over my laptop. Okay, we need to initiate a new game. And we're going to go with the ever-present, just my name. And we'll use the same timing rules for the PC, so I will hit the go button on my timer the minute I select mail. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. So the backstory is very simple. We try and get away from the the tough day-to-day -day life. There's that lovely sound of the moon gate. Oh, I love it. Tough, tough uh, bits of everyday life. We go wandering in the woods. We read the book of history. No, really, read the book of history. I've read the book of history many times at this point. Then there's a renaissance fair. We're given admission because the ticket taker sees our onk and says, go in. And then uh, we find the covered wagon at the far side. We get asked a bunch of questions, which are going to determine our, our character class and our starting statistics. Here we go. What do we got? She says, consider this. Spirituality. Uh, honor, because humility gets me nothing. Sacrifice. And honesty. Uh, honesty has to be. And sacrifice. And then honesty again. Not a great starting character. Now it's going to tell me to swap disks, which I will do. 
<laughs> I don't find them that tough to read. Hi, Lizzo. How's it going? Wait for the disk drive to stop spinning. And we insert play disk. Hit space. Pretending to work. All right. I don't even have to pretend anymore. And we are going into this thing. I love the simulated disc noises. Get into the town. Now I'm doing this with music and with sound. So there's going to be slowdown related to sound. That's fine. It's what I want for now. Oops. Should actually open the door, not the empty spot. That's another thing in the... Commodore 64 version, there are sleep traps and bomb traps, which were not implemented in the PC version. Come on, Margo. Don't hide in the corner, Margo. Just don't... <laughs> she knows I'm speedrunning. All right, so we are going to, in need of reagents, one touch, nine. I can only buy in batches up to nine. And I can't go too fast or I'll overrun the buffer and wind up talking my way right out of the... Fortunately, we have this lovely music. I'm not looking at the screen. The music is a good indicator that I'm still talking to her and I haven't screwed up my inputs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! That's what happens. I wound up paying way too much there. Hello, Devlin. Oh, right, there's a 10 minute delay. <laughs> Forgot about that. Not that I'm particularly subject to hate raids, but you know, you just. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely going to stream this. This is beautiful. To me, this is this is art. And there's something really important about the way it forces you to play slow. Fast as I can, but still slow. C1B West. North, north. Oh, that sound. That should get me the black stone. 
Yes. Verbal blat, indeed. And, I don't know if you know this or not, but the more magic points something costs, the longer the burbling goes. See? Cure only costs five magic points. And there, I can tell when the next map segment is loaded, so I know when the best time to blink is. C64 was a bad computer. I don't know, it was the one I had growing up, so... Make sure I don't... yeah. Six, seven, eight... <laughs> you say it would say the Amstrad was better, but then you know you don't have this game, so I mean. By D, yes. J, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If I had known what the nostalgia market and factor was going to do, I would have insisted on keeping the Commodore 64 and my old PC and things like that. But, you know, so be it. Two sets of gems. And we're going to go, uh, since I spent 90 more than I have to. Well, I mean, I'd do this anyway. The not particularly effective guard. In spite of it not working, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? But nowadays, people fix those. Yeah. I love that this version, this is the remastered version, I love that this can properly buffer inputs. There were issues of the Commodore 64 version that couldn't. Well, I guess I'm fighting some orcs before I get my mandrake. Now we mix until we get to the time to get Mandrake, which is at two new moons. ups and downs because things can go weird with those. Now actually doing stuff does delay the moon timer so it slows it down while I'm actually mixing things which is nice. I was able to try out most of my tricks yesterday. The 
still hate mixing wins. Just does not feel good under the hand. Ultimus for Amiga. Hmm. Dave even hover. Maybe can do. I need some more beds. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Do 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 I had one Ultima game for the Amiga, it was Ultima 6, and I didn't like it. Dave even hover right pretty seriously. Having more time to think in this one, I get more time to do things like quicknesses. Ugh. And I get a little break. Have a drink. Four. So this will be five. Six, seven, eight. Should be nine. Yeah. Should be Mandrake, Mandrake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Mandrake. There we go. One of the reasons I do these games is because there's thinking in them. I hope that loaded the one I thought it did. It did not. North, please. Please, north. Good. I mix all my gate travel spells. out the other stuff I need while I wait. I'm waiting for the moons to change. So yeah, it's supposed to check that you haven't picked up Mandrake in the last 10 turns. But it does it lazily by making sure that the tens digit of your um, tens the tens digit of your move move count has changed. Ah, oh, stretch. There's some burble blat. I need more Mandrake. How are we doing? Okay, good. I'm not in any rush for this. There's the spot. As it gets closer, I'm going to quit and save again to check my move count. And again, I want to get three batches of Mandrake. So I want my move count to come straight, so this would be four. 
I might get poisoned here. You'll get to hear that noise. Five, six, seven, eight. So it should be two searches for Mandrake and then nine passes. Search. Nope. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Search. Got it. Get in there before that nasty orc gets to me. All right. Now we're in pause. I need to restock my reagents and then fix my honesty and justice and honor. I mean, technically, but honesty and justice are the ones I need from here. So, so first of all, we start by being dishonest and unjust. For a while. Ninety ninety nine. I'm going to skip garlic because we're going to do that one's the It's actually a randomized... Um, it's a randomized sound effect. So, so I don't actually know how you would do that. I mean, you could. Uh, he's, he's there, Devlin. He's just um, not as helpful. Well, that's the wrong button. That Reaper exists, it's just, uh, he's not as useful. I don't really need more Black Pearl, but I'm grabbing it anyway. Okay. Hi, Phoenix. So, I need to get 60, I need to get 62, okay. I'm fixing my virtues. There are lots of other people I can talk to to get virtue points, so Devlin, it doesn't have to be that Reaper. Twenty minutes in, and I'm only just doing my pause stop. Yeah, that Reaper definitely does have a chance of attacking you. There's a few people that do. Vorpal's another one. I've tried to go Vorpal into attacking me before. My safety horse. Oh, pop those knuckles. Oh my goodness, the monsters are out today. There's the loading set. Check my magic points. 
and check out this landing right on the horn Come on. And the safety horse gets left there. We get this lovely dungeon music. Show me where I am. Please be in the right place. I'm in the very wrong place. Um, okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna try a second time. Oh, fuzz. <laughs> All right, I can take a hint. Uh-oh. It's a reaper. Reapers do this. They put me to sleep. And what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. You just stand in the fire. Thank you. Give me a torch. This is why I don't normally use a torch, because it's low. But... <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it. Keep forgetting I have to input a player number despite the fact that I only have one player. Okay, I know where I am. I do know where I am, I'm just not doing it right. More Reapers. Alright, well, we'll go around you. Bugs I can deal with. Because I don't actually have to deal with them. See, there's no battle is lost after. That tells you that I didn't actually... Um, didn't actually lose the fight. Didn't actually lose any valor for running away from them. Quickness. Oh, look at that lovely quickness. Since I got the light, I might as well use it and not another gem. So we'll see which dungeon altar I land next to, or just not at all. That's annoying. And again, landed in the wrong section. Okay. The game, she is unhappy. Okay, I think I'm in the right place. Gazers. All right. Just one, okay. Just in case. Okay. 
And flaming oil is a boon. Okay, where are we? We are in Ultra Move Courage. I need to go straight across naturally. To shame. Because I need to go to Deceit via the Altar Room of Truth. This one usually doesn't give me trouble. So normally, I'm getting here around 10 minutes, and we're already at almost half an hour. Version difference is a thing. Finally rid ourselves of this curse of light. Thank you. Make sure I got the magic points. Oh yeah, we're good. Falling rocks. Pit. Dispel. We'll hit the pit again. Poison field. Fire field. Turn. We'll stand in the fire field to turn. Step through the sleep field. Search and we'll get the blue stone. X it. Check my magic points. Good. Better to check and know and be right than and we enter the Shrine of Honesty. It allows me to buffer the word honesty, but after that I have to actually input the mantra at the right time. Also, notice how slow this meditation is going. This is actually meditative. The beautiful soft music. The slow pace of it. But yeah, I mean, usually, when I'm doing a, a PC speedrun, this is 10 minutes. My, my entry time for the, man, the um, Altar of Honesty is supposed to be around 11 minutes. Now I'm going to walk out of here at half, half an hour. <sighs> this is actually restful. I'm in my kitchen, I'm on my feet, I'm playing a game. I'm speedrunning a game for that matter. And it's actually restful. <laughs> like breathing. Um. I mean, it's supposed to be. And back to it. That's what I wanted with the next segment to load. Do -do 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 -do. 
I hope you all get to hear this music too. I think I set it up right so you can. The fantastic castle tomb. And we come in here and get the Book of Truth. Stay out of my way. There it is. Fantastic. And hearing all the clopping and the, the burbles. Okay, we're gonna run away from some guards now. Yep. See, the longer, the, the bigger a spell, the longer the, the uh, burbling. Hey, tag, hear it. So it's a small hit to my compassion and justice and honor to attack a, a non uh, to attack a non-combatant. I get my compassion back every time I run away from them. And my justice as well. So I'm actually there's a net gain of compassion and justice in this particular endeavor. And it's faster to do these fights and run away from the guards than it is to go and talk to uh, to go and talk to a beggar. Especially because it gets these five guards out of my way. Yeah, it's two points for every time I run away. It's 73 compassion now. And unlike Phoenix, I don't steal the treasury here. So apparently the bug for Hawkwind has been fixed. Unfortunately. My food just ticked down. So 61. I need to get that number to 89. Buffering is so nice. Sixty four, sixty seven, seventy. So seventy and then three more seventy. So sixty one, sixty nine, that's sixty. 60. So ten more. Okay. There we go. Level six. And if you want to know why I don't claim every individual level, look at the amount of time that took. So 
So ten more visits to Hawkwind. Eight more visits to Hawkland. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Six more visits to Hawkwind. Hey, Doc. Seven, eight, nine, two. Oh, I'm a I'm a big fan of Ken Arnold. Four more. I also like how pass just ends the buffer. He can't buffer a whole bunch of passes now. I'm looking for my food to change. This is a nice relaxing thing to do after last week's marathon, getting back into streaming a bit. Have to get back to music streaming, it's been quite a while since I've done a music stream. Well thank you for dropping by, Doc, I'm happy to see you. Grayson's Tale. I don't know the game or the music. So I'd have to find that out. Have to get the music is the big trick. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, two more. Wait, what? There's the 88. Oh, stones. Dip, 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 So it should be at 2100 turns and it'll be done. Let's see the food to tick. Uh, I have no idea what sound it makes when you double click on a harpsichord. <laughs> Chuckles. <laughs> Sorry. You're busy. You know, people with real lives. Guard, please, I'm trying to get to the healer. It's important. I have to give away my plasma. I had some sacrifice at the start, yeah. 70. 75. Just need three more. Two more. <laughs> There's my 90, yeah. I suppose I could have gone a second round with the guards here. It wouldn't have been a bad thing. I can do it later, though. Probably should have done it here. Here's Hithloth. A little 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're taking the Altar of Truth to Wrong, and we get to see if, as promised... We get to see if the broken uh, ladder has been fixed. Now here we go. One, two, three, four, five, turn north. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, you can't put me to sleep. That still hurts. Can't put me to sleep. There he goes. I'm already poisoned, so who cares? Come on, Tremor. That was a pretty good Tremor. And the Zorn is running away. It's really all I want. Might as well get it. That was a good tremor. Failed me. I'm gonna need to mix. Oh no! MP too low. Bugs. Yeah, I'm gonna need to mix some more anyway. 
we're going to pass a couple turns here, running away from the bugs. And while we're here, we'll mix a couple more tremors. I'll have time to mix more later, so I'm not going to worry about getting too many of them done. Make sure I got the points. Don't fail me. Walk until I hit the wall. Back up two. Turn left. And walk into this room. If I walk straight down the middle of the room, those Hydras can get out. But since I don't... They can't. They just sit there shooting uselessly. Oh, I got slapped. Darn. This should be a fountain. Yep. And this should be a magic ball. And this should be a fountain. Sleeping field. Sleeping field. And the same room I was in before. I want to be poisoned, so I'm going to poison myself. There we go. North. Two to the east. Oh, I need to go one more to the east. A reaper again. Glad I poisoned myself. Goodness, the random encounters are out in force today. Maybe it means my uh, valor will be nice and high. Didn't get either of the Reapers. Which means we gotta live with this noise. The headless is wandering around down there. I probably set to fleeing. The gazer's going away. That's nice. We'll just run through here. Or I would, but that headless is being annoying. I could and probably should have done a quickness for this room. Okay. So this is a poison field, poison field. Should be a fountain here. I didn't actually need to search for the fountain, I have enough hit points. See where we landed up. Oh. The wandering monsters are out in force. So it looks like the the uh, stairs are back now. The stairs have been fixed. So I need to go two west and then into that corner. Okay. One, one, two, one. Search should be a magic ball. Touch the dangerous thing. Gremlins. It's almost worth taking the... Almost worth taking the hit to my Valor to run away. Run away. And then it's just one step.
Moin Quickness. Yes. Wow, did I land in the wrong place? I've never landed there. It's one of those things you know is possible, but... I have been having no luck with the ups and downs. Okay, good. I'm glad that was a troll and not a reaper or gazers. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. Let's be faster. Use my second torch. We're almost at the... We're at the point where I should be looking at... I should be in the abyss if I was doing a, a PC run. Possibly coming into the ending. And I'm only just finishing my first, my second dungeon delve. Interesting contrast, anyway. Do you mind? Could you, could you not? That'd be great. There we go. Can't shoot me because I'm standing in the secret door. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're big and tough. I get it. Search. Burble, 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 blat. Random monsters are everywhere today. Next section loads, and then I know I can link west. Not search. And I should probably still have light. Because this game doesn't end your light timer when you leave to the surface. The undead spell didn't seem to do what I wanted it to, which was get rid of them. I don't need that much money. It's more enemies! Going to do our boat grind. Let's 
see how long that spell that spell sound lasts for a gate spell. All right. Twenty four hundred moves and whoop grind starts at fifty seven forty five. I will thank you not to do that. Yep. One minute of boat grind. Yet resurrect costs forty five. Gate travel only costs forty. Ninety seconds on the boat grind. That's not a boat. Uh, no. <laughs> no, Phoenix, I will not be doing that. And I've seen just about everything, everything uh, hostile that it can appear on the water other than a boat. We're two minutes of boat grind. I started my boat grind after my PC PB. Summon the twisters. Yeah. <laughs> Every so often I walk out just to check. Two and a half. No twisters. Yeah. At least not that I can see. They could be hanging out. There's the moon gate. Which means we're approaching three minutes on the boat grind. There it is, three minutes. It was a quiet afternoon. We went pirate hunting. Three and a half minutes. I mean, it's still technically morning here, but... I mean, realistically, I could have two twisters and a couple seahorses just hanging off screen. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind? Thank you. There's the twister. I saw it. Just popped up in the corner. There's another, or hopefully it's the same one. All right. Hmm. 
Not nice. Not nice, game. You could have been a boat. You could have been a boat. Also, I did some... My goodness, the Nixies are out in force. I did a little bit of interesting timing. We're closing it on six minutes of boat grind. Um, did a bit of interesting timing. Holding up and camping, if I have to cast two heal spells as well as recover magic points, holding up and camping is faster. Assuming I don't get attacked. There's a boat. Boop. Thousand moves and six and a half minutes once it's done saving. And unfortunately, it doesn't move fast enough that I'll get anywhere near, I wouldn't get anywhere near the skull even if I'd gone straight for it. There's another boat just taunting me. Hopefully I've left it behind. just been tacking off my wind. And that's why I used it. Go away. Let's see if I can get to the, uh, see if I can get to the skull in time. I'm not sure that I can. Since progress is slower, the moons change faster relative to the amount of turns you take. Serpent's Hold. Come on, come on, come on. Not like that, you don't. Bed, 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 bed.
Let's get that skull. None of that. This is actually not too bad. It's nice. It's calm, it's quiet. Things have finally settled down a bit. Uh, I need to see one gate too. We're done sacrifice, but I can still get some compassion from the guards. Then I need to get my three-part key. Yeah, I should definitely have done uh, more guard tag on my way down from my first level up at Lord British's. Keep that in mind. Fifty-nine. Well, it's going to be sixty. Sixty-nine, but still. Guards running away from me. Oh, look at that. So I guess you all need to know that the uh, skull bomb is much higher stakes in this version because it's much, uh... I don't need any more. It's much, uh, longer to load if I miss. Guard tag complete. There should be no more guards in my way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, come on, give me two turns. Give me turns, come on, give me free turn. Free turns. Thank you, finally. Yes, made it through without getting poisoned. This is the tough one. I need to get in here. Use my stones. And I need to get out to the right. Be nice. Okay, I'm in the dungeon shame now. Two, three, four. Turn north. One, two. Do it again. Tried to walk into a hydra here. They blend so well into the tiles. 
Jeez, they hit hard. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely saving. Here we go. Scubom! That is very dramatic. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. Oh. I need water. Welcome to my kitchen. So at this point, any, um, any PC version of this run We'd be looking at it going like, this is really slow. I have hit some bad luck, but... Now 20 minutes behind world record. And I'm only getting to my Valor grind just now. And I'm refilling my water jug. Lots of time in this one for meditation. It's actually quite nice. My fastest time on the C64 version. I missed that question, Duck. I'm sorry. I've only ever done it once. It was yesterday. And I wasn't timing at the time. So it took me about... And again, I, I've left the music and the and the um, sound effects on, so it's it's slower. Uh, but uh, my fastest time on the C64 version, well, when I did it yesterday, was about three hours. And this is on the remastered version, so some loading times are faster. I don't have to swap discs. There's lots of advantages to this one. If I had to swap discs, I'd probably... Uh, redo the dungeons so that I don't have to be in them so much. That's some humility. Of course, right away. Jerk. Woof. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh no, don't do it again. Thank you. Fuzz. <laughs> the first fight has a Balron. The first one. Unbelievable. Look, if you're gonna run, do you mind? Thank you. The second fight has a bell run as well. Yeah, this is some pretty shockingly bad luck. 
There is that. Good experience is always nice. They hit so hard. I got left. Okay, lots. Oh yeah, they uh, they definitely hit. Like this is much harder hits hits that I'm used to a lot of the time. Gazers just tore, tore me apart a couple times yesterday. I got lucky and didn't end up taking a death, but gazers just brutalize you. Fortunately, too, I seem to hit harder as well. I don't know if that's just... Another one. Three Balrons in the first set of eight. That's unbelievable. be a bad idea. And of course this one I have to watch because there's sleep traps and bomb traps as well. I mean fortunately right now the money isn't important. I could leave those chests there and there's nothing else threatening me if I'm here. Because I haven't spent enough turns to worry about dragons showing up. But of course, sleep trap, a sleep trap will eliminate my poison. Yeah, there is that. I could leave the chests there, too. That's something I have to ask Sean about, is how, how that uh, works in, um, in uh, C64. Because yesterday, when I was testing this stuff, uh, I realized I don't actually have to open those chests, I just have to step back and as soon as it takes the step south and I haven't got the horn active, it creates eight more demons on that spot, piling the chests up. So I don't know if chests will overwrite boats in this version, but if they, do, if they don't, I don't have to open those chests at all. Go to fleeing. Uh, I don't actually check it. I just get twenty. I just get twenty points. I'm at forty-five right now. I just get the three orbs in in wrong and the one in despise. Um. So I don't actually. Uh, I don't actually aim hard for 40 like I do in the PC version. Because I know... Um, you showed me the calculations before, Phoenix. Uh, your dexterity has an increasing chance to hit the higher you get, or the higher you put it all the way up to 50, right? Oops. That was a silly spot to move, that's where I wanted to be. If you're gonna run, run. 
78. 6, 7, 8. So I'll probably like with the with the bonus that British gives me for my last level, I'll probably end up at or near fifty anyway. Only at seventy eight, so this one has the potential to give me to eighty six. So I still gotta do three more of these. Or I might have to jump out and do spirituality. I hope you like this 11 second loop of music, because you're going to hear it for a while. You hear it a lot in dungeon rooms too. There really isn't a convenient place to grind valor that doesn't involve things shooting you. Like, it's either these guys or it's trolls. So you're taking hits a lot more. Actually, I wonder... No, that wouldn't work. For other reasons, that wouldn't work. But mind you... Actually, there's a, there's a thought, Phoenix. What about going to Magincia and just cleaning the place out? You lose your compassion and justice, but you get your valor. You lose compassion and justice because you have to attack things, but they're considered evil creatures once you're in combat with them. Do you mind? So, you know, if we go to Magincia and start cleaning the place out, killing all those skeletons and ghosts, we'll lose, we'll get, we'll take the hit to, I mean, honor is hardly relevant if you do it early enough, you're picking up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, do it before pause and you wind up Seven, eight. That's something I'll have to try on the PC version. If it's worth the time to go in and just eliminate, depopulate the ruins. Because I know there's like a dozen ghosts stop it thank you This part is actually pretty wearing.
This is the endurance part of the run, I guess. There's another bell run. Knew they'd show up eventually. Yes, you are slowing me down. Thank you. Oof. <laughs> and yet it's faster than just about any other Valor grind possible. Like, I don't know where else we could possibly grind Valor that's better. Again, unless it's worthwhile depopulating the ruins of Magincia a few times. Going ghost hunting. But that's also a lot of movement you have to do while you're poisoned. Or probably poisoned. And the sound effects do slow it down to a fair bit. But this is how, this is the cross I chose to bear, and so bear it I shall. I placed this onk around my neck myself. And of course it doesn't help when I do things like that. I wonder if some of these wouldn't be better if I were using quickness. But then the demons get stuck up north of the rocks, and I have to go and get them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This problem alone makes the case for get grabbing Valor as, at the start. Having to do 10 or 20 less fights would make a big difference. I didn't have great cards to start with, so... They weren't bad, but... But yeah, in the PC version, I usually aim for spirituality because um, I want the uh, the dexterity and the intelligence from it. But also, that's what takes all the time. Here, it may very well be the Valor grind that takes the time. And so shortening that as much as possible might be worthwhile. Oh. 
the shots travel so slowly. Of course, they're all accompanied with sound effects. And I've been getting pairs more than individuals. I have to assume that's a 50-50. Another bell run. Great. Health, 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 health. Okay, worth noting, it didn't look like the fire bothered the bell run. I guess they fly. Ninety-one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, at least I'm not going to have to worry about experience. Oh, there's my chance for spirituality. I'm going to miss it. It's all right. I've still got to do two more of these at least. Because there's no way this is going to give me all eight points I need. So often they hit like that does one damage, and that's you know, I can live with that. It's when they hit and do 50, you're like, whoa! There was 20 damage, there's uh, three. I think I just walked north, yeah. My finger slipped and I double tapped. My hands are getting tired. There he goes. We need to heal. Uh oh. Could be in trouble. Don't hit me with the bell rung, thank you. I tried to catch the, uh, tried to catch the, uh, moon gate. Didn't get it. So we're gonna go and check that. Oh, actually, I got a pretty good one there. Okay, come on.
take a couple fights out here. I hit the A button. There we go. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but at least it's pretty rare to see Balrons with trolls. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen because I've seen it happen. There we go. Hopefully this is the last one I need. Nope. You can generally tell how bad my Valor grind was by how much money I have afterwards. Snake, you don't help me. There it is. Everything's there, I just have to get it now. Okay, we're gonna go back up here. Uh, we're gonna avoid you guys. Heels. I think I'm one gate short at the moment. That's all right. We'll leave that two mandrake behind in case I need it for later. We stop on quicknesses. <laughs> Uh, mix one more energy just in case. Cures. Bed. 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 Uh, Miss also got quicknesses sleeps. I don't need my ups, downs, or exits anymore. We'll just mix a ton of heals. And I made it through the Abyss yesterday. The Abyss just didn't like being got through, so... I'm gonna leave some of those behind, but I've got 48 heal spells. That should... With the big bright... All right, gotta wait for the gate to be fully open. The big bright in theory sign, that should in theory be enough. Okay, chance to rest my poor hands. Actually, frankly, it's a chance to make myself a sandwich if I wanted. At least we get some nice, relaxed music. A chance to think about what we've done.
all the terrible evils we have inflicted upon the world in our path to become the ultimate good. I don't know what this guardian guy has a problem with. I mean, really. Um... Doing some big stretches here. I have been on my feet almost this whole time. Need a virtue percent category. I know. I like the uh, the the idea of true one hundred percent, where we have to get every message from Hawkwind. Good. And every shrine message. That would be fun. Some town music. We haven't heard this since the very beginning of the game. Defeat every dungeon room. No thanks. <gasps> Okay, if you're gonna hang out in there, I'm gonna put your, I'm gonna put your fires out. Uh, no, the uh, the runic symbols that show up when achieving partial avatar hood make up the axiom, the ultimate axiom that you need. The rune of pa the word of passage you get from talking to the uh, heads of the castles. So the the uh, the leader of the Lyceum and of the uh, Empath Abbey and um, Serpent's Hold. And that's the loading I wanted. But not the stand, not the spot I wanted. <laughs> That's no no worries, man. It's not an easy game. When I first played my way through some of the earlier Ultimas, I was on guide. Now, of course, I mean, Ultima 2 is a train wreck, so... Myself some more water, which has had plenty of time to chill in the fridge because these meditations take a while. Welcome to my kitchen. What am I, class? That's right. I'm a professional. I'm not a professional. Doom. 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 
Actually, you want to get really fancy, Phoenix. True hundred, true uh, all dialogue percent. Include having to get every every line of help dialogue from British. Now the problem with doing this is because I go through the guards here. Guards appear in groups of four now, and I have to move two people out. I could actually just do this. Julia, what are you doing? Don't challenge the guards. No. Don't. Go get yourself killed. I should do Valor, I should automatically do Valor before Sacrifice, just, like, Valor should be first, especially if I'm going through the guards, because it takes them a long time to, to move. Things to note for next time. the right spot. That's the right spot. Still all 99s across the board. Look at me. Oh, now the cat's after my hand. Sonora, where are you, and what are, what are you doing in my way? Okay, you're not. Okay. Max. 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 I'm having none of this. <laughs> of course, now the guards are going to be in groups of... What do you mean, poor Max? I didn't hurt him. I'm being groups of six now. Jeffrey, what are you doing? No. Don't run up against the guards. You'll never win. <laughs> what are you doing passing your turns? You should be attacking them with your axe. I should have unequipped his armor. There we go. We don't even get that battle is lost message because the guards don't count as evil, so. There's Sonora. going according to plan.
meditate on all the valorous times I've run away from the guards. Yeah, now I'm I'm really thinking depopulating Magentia might be the way to go. Yes, you're a cat. Thank you. I know you're concerned about the state of my soul. It's okay. Do it early enough in the run, and honor isn't a problem. Like, if I do it right before actually getting the boat, if I do it before my boat grind, honor isn't an issue. I can do humility. Well, I mean, I already do humility by talking to the guards in British's place, so that's not really that big a deal, but I can do humility by talking to Virtue Bane. I don't have to worry about things disappearing then, because the boats are the boats outside. Anything appearing would be in the town. Just to be safe, we're going to buy a bunch of food. Just in case I get gremlin attacked in the uh, abyss. Join me. And since I haven't done, I haven't got my avatar hood in compassion, justice, or honor, if I want, I can attack Vorpal here too. If he's in my way, I do sometimes. Don't have to, he's not in my way. Just Max that got it this time. Buffering is so nice. Hey, get off the stove. Get down. You want water? There's some water. I don't know what those faces are supposed to mean. Ah. Oh. What are you implying, duck? Sacrifice now, just go gate from Cove straight to six. And that's good, because I've often wound up without with uh, without having uh, enough turns passed before I get the ruin the the uh, shrine of honor, so that's not gonna be a problem.
Next goal is Britain, the Rune of Compassion, and YOLO. And now I can no longer assault people if they get in my way. Man, I wish I had a horse. Just to be safe. left is honor and the candle. Can't forget the candle. If I forget the candle, I'm in trouble. It's a pain in the neck to get to Cove. <sighs> Reflect on the many terrible things I've done to get here. And how now I'm a much more compassionate person. Running away from all those guards was one of the most compassionate things I could do, apparently. This is nice, relaxed, calm. Just think on the goodness, the niceness, the happiness, all those things. Pop all the muscles. Partial avatar heard in the virtue of compassion. There we go. Okay, come on. Wow. That was amazing. 
That was some amazingly slow progress. Game, you can stop it with the slow progress now. Lots of guards here I could pick off too, but eh, it's not the time. Now walking becomes a slog. And I have to be careful not to overshoot. Phoenix, this is still fantastic. That is some great blink routing. Okay. Pardon me. Now we need to go get the Mystic Arms. We need to not type this in wrong. <laughs> Ultima 9 speedrun stuff, yeah. Uh, 9 is a very deeply broken game. And there's a lot of history that goes into that, and it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Because, you know, you could tell someone really wanted it to be something. But unfortunately, it never did get there. Oh yeah, yeah. There's lot. There's lots of stuff going on there. Um, I think eight two. Yeah. Skull the Mundane in the museum. Yeah, what is it doing there? <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, no. Well, I mean, all, all the other things being cool, even if you don't... E even if you don't destroy the Skull of Mundane, why are they keeping this artifact that can literally wipe out the entire town just in the museum? Like, you'd think it'd be under serious lock and key somewhere. reason for this, don't worry. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Why not throw the skull in the ethereal void with the codex? Um, just, you know, get it away from 
where people can touch it. Hey, rogues. Bye, rogues. What is with the wandering monsters today? They are everywhere. Between Wandering Monster Luck and Slow Progress, I have been having some pretty crummy uh, random chance happening. You might take a look at uh, Squibbin's randomizer of it, if you like six. I didn't like 6, so I don't tend to play it. They'll be done. There we go. Don't have to listen to them dying anymore. How many gates I got left? Enough. That's all. All I need to know. Got enough? Yes, I got enough. Okay, we're coming in on the end game now. I shouldn't have any. I bet you I've already got the necessary. Oh, I'm still 100 points short of experience. Well, 89 points short of my experience. So, yeah. This is still a worthwhile move. Good job. <laughs> Chuckles. Stop it. Wait, please. And thy worthy corpses, adventurers, yeah. I like how what he says will change. I mean, uh, one of the interesting things uh, in the marathon was the all cutscenes uh, version of Link in the Faces of Evil. Wait, stop that. I mean, it's not a good game, but, you know, all the ultimates in some form or another.
I mean, if I ask Lord British about his health, he could raise all the companions very quickly and easily. Wouldn't be a problem. Is my boat still there? My boat's still there. Beautiful. How about I spell it properly, and then you can join me. Okay. Hi, Nate. How's it going? Hmm. Wow. 50 turns in the poison and neither Shimino nor I got poisoned. There we go. That was impressive. It's a low move count. This is not a complaint, you understand. Two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, turn south. That's how I find the Isle of the Abyss, is go, uh, when Magincia is out of sight, sail sixteen more st oh, hello boat. Sell 16 more steps. Goodbye, Shimino. Don't mess this up for me, boat. Now, they use a different movement pattern in this version than in the PC DOS. So... I do wind up getting shot and attacked. I am not happy with that outcome. I'm not happy with that outcome either. There's only so many times I can do this. Sit down. Give me a good tremor, come on. Yeah, I use match missile. It's cheaper than fireball, that's all. Fireball's 15 points, magic missile's 5. Yeah, no. No two ends on tremor. Uh, what's the other one that got fixed? Two L's on dispel. It's only a single L on the Dispel spell. Do you mind? Bad. This is why I save before I I go in. 
Are you guys gonna let me... Are you guys gonna attack me? Or are you gonna just hang back and shell me to death? Of course, I'm on from three sides. I can't actually get out of this. I have to reset, I think. All right. And I have to put the right disc in there. Yeah, I wasn't taking a lot of damage there, but... Uh, the fact that they get in my way and I have to take a fight is a problem. So we have to go through the loading procedure. No, there's no restore option in game. Why would you need it? You never end up in a situation where you can't win, right? And all the keys are taken up. It's going to pass me to the trainer menu. We're not going to turn on any trainers. I'm going to resist the urge to speed up the disc. Because <laughs> I'm trying to do this as a speed run. Journey onwards, and it's going to tell me to flip into the other disc, which I will do. Once it stops loading. If I pull the disc out now, it could be problematic. Okay, here we go. Scanning files. Here we go. Wow. I wonder if I'd be better just to get into cannon fights with them. Just clear the way. Make sure I got the wheel on and just go at it. You also don't have to show up with a full crew, you guys. You could just show up with, like, one or two. That would be great. That's fine. Eleven tremors left. Ten tremors left. <laughs> They're supposed to be the ghost pirates. I'm the one showing up with the corpses. Oh, 
Run for the lifeboats, come on. Do you mind? Thank you. Do, would you would you quit surviving? There we go. We're on the far side now. Into the fire. One more. And into the abyss we go. Remember, my tremors are limited. Quickness, if you wouldn't mind triggering, that would be great. And I don't have the lovely sleep glitch that works in this one either. Do you mind? Yeah, thank you. There we go. There's a good chain of turns. Just stop. That's a low count for my favorite spell. Alright, let's do this. And if you're wondering, this is where I get poisoned. Come on, quickness, do me good, do me solid here. See, so yeah, dispel with one L. Thank you, RNG, for that. Uh-oh, what's here?
Maybe I should spell it right. Where's my stats at? Okay, level up. And hope I don't get attacked. The final boss is dispelling me, yeah. Thank you. Let's rock. Okay, come on. The quickness luck is not with me today. Two and a half hours, it's not bad. Should be done by three. There we go, there's some good move. Thank you, this is out here. Yeah. So just keep walking with me, don't, don't start shooting, no, that's fine. The truth is that the Codex is guarded by Mavis Beacon. That's all. No, no, don't do that. It takes up time. Just... Stop. One east. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be enough. And stepping in the center of the room lets those demons free. If they'd stop shooting, that would be nice. Three, four, five, six, turn north, one, two, one, four, five, Firefield, and the room. Good. Run away. Okay, stop. Just, just leave. Just leave. Thank you. Tremor. Tremor. Wipe them gremlins out. Okay, good. I see my, my route. It's this way. I don't like that sound. You stole some of my food. That's why I bought way too much food. Is that gazer hit me for almost 50 damage twice? Gazers hit like tanks.
So five. We go one, two, three, four. Return. We go one, two, three, four. Check my stats. We're going in. It is tempting there to hole up in camping. Tremor! Give me some tremor. Shake that screen. One Zorn down. That's good. Ouch. 50 damage straight up there from the Zorn. Now we get the blinking from the... Ball runs. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. You can, you can. No, it's fine. I'm poisoned. You don't have to do that. It's okay. You know what? We're going to get rid of him because I want to put my magic points back up and I don't want to have to deal with that. No, no. Really. Thank you. Because worst room in the game is here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. That should be a good amount. Yep, eight is fine. We open with a tremor and probably asleep as well. Worst room in the game. And unfortunately, you have to go through it. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I'm aware. Phantoms hit pretty hard, too. That was 30 points on a single hit. My quickness ran out. Two complaint back game. If you just not, that would be great. <sighs> this is the only room that tempts me into negate magic. And it might be worth it if I'm doing it with sound, just because of this nonsense. Like, this is insane. This is not fun. 
Come on, just make it up a couple more steps. If I wasn't poisoned, this would be death. Okay. Whenever that finally gets through, I'll be out. Ugh, that is an ugly room. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's roll. One. Uh oh. Gang of trolls. One, two, turn north, one, east, two. Oh, dear Pete. Game. That's just rude. I prepared for this eventuality. I got so much walking to do. Let's see, what have I got? Okay, just so I know what my resources are. All right. All right. You know what? We're not going to. I'm going to save some of those tremors for some of the later rooms. I've only got seven tremors left, and i got no more mandrake to mix them with, so... We're going to go after these guys... ...with the big sword. And before I open that, we're going to heal up. Thank you for walking out. It's much appreciated. And now we just have to get through here. Tremor is well founded in this room. Oh, 
Come on. What's my magic hat? Okay. Hope some of these guys got whacked a bit by the tremor spell. The tremor only has three options. It can do nothing. It can do enough damage to put an a target in fleeing state, that is reduce it to 23 hit points, or it can kill. And of course it chooses each target individually. Do 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 There, this is probably enough to go on. Because I want a good tremor for this room here. Big tremor, big tremor, big tremor, big tremor. Not quite what I was after, but I'll take it. That mist does not help. Good job. And we're out of the maze. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, ready, Jay. Bring it. Come on. Bring it. There. Sometimes you just have to burn a few gremlins. That was some good quickness. Here we go. How's my points? 50. Okay. I'm going to use Undead here, but not Tremor, as I usually do. Save my Tremor for the next room. critical, but I'm so nice to him. There's the real threats here, the gazer. Yeah. 
Get out of my way. Uh oh, what's here? <sighs> what's my magic one set? It's not worth waiting for you guys. Okay. Let me use the tremor here. Didn't get the Balron, which means I'm going to have to suffer through delays of his spells, yeah. I know you're annoying. Please stop that. Yes, I understand. I get it. Yes, you're very big and powerful. Good job. Let me out of here. Four tremors left. Here's some quickness. I know where I want three of those tremors to be used, so... Ouch! For Pete's sake. little help with the quickness, please? Oof. Ouch. My quickness ran out in one room. That's embarrassingly bad. Quickness spell, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You failed me. Okay, come on. I'm gonna spend a little time here. We're getting close to the end here. Use one, maybe two trimmer spells here. Yeah, we'll use two Tremor spells here. We'll use two Tremor spells in the next. There we go. Magic points back, and then away we go.
and we'll see if the codex is glitched out now or not. Because that's what happened yesterday. This is it. I should cast Quickness first, oh well. We'll see how these go. Might not need to. Ooh, nice. Fire off my last Tremor spell. See if I can get rid of the Gazers. That's fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Quick, this is out, okay. Heal doesn't give me a lot of time. I just need to get through. Two gazers is a bad news. There we go. Okay, we're good. Here we go. Time to see if it's all messed up. I don't know how well it buffers, so I'm taking my time on these questions. Here we go. Here's truth. That's why it does it, because there's a pause in there. Time. Two fifty eight eleven. I'm actually pretty good with that. Three hours, sub three hours, with all the with all the music and all the sound effects. And what is? I'm curious as to my yeah sub three yeah. Curious as to my. Wow, what a turn count! <laughs> oh, that's unbelievably low. I don't know how it's so low. I think it may not be counting turns in combat, but still, sub six, <laughs> sub six turns, it's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Ah. I'm going to stop this recording.